All right, now this one's a little bit different. Um, I kind of said if we were looking at those exponents as whole values, like we see here, this is s to the power of 3, then we, we kind of don't have to worry about it, but we do because when we solve for s here, we want just a single s, not three s's multiplied together. So how, do we, how would we undo an exponent? Well, then we're going to be using the roots. But we do need to isolate it first. So let's go ahead and subtract 8 from both sides first. And I've got this s cubed on one side. And I've got it equal to negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. So I need to get rid of that cube by cube rooting both sides. And again, we could look at this as s cubed, but we're going to take it to the power of one third, which is just going to give us an s. And this is the cube root of negative 10, which is the cube root of negative 10. That right there is an irrational number. So that's as far as we would take it, but we would want to check, right? So right at the top there, we've got s squared plus 8. That's our original equation, equals negative 2. And we're going to go ahead and replace s with, and we can put in parentheses if we need to or want to, the cube root of negative 10. Well, cube roots, we can't have negatives in there because it's an odd index and that will just give us a negative 10 negative 10 plus 8 again there's a question mark does it equal negative 2 yes it does negative 2 does equal negative 2 that's true so we know that our answer is the cube root of negative 10